Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to do a quick painterly edit on your phone that you can put on your wall. Alright, so I love taking pictures of my barn. It's something that is a big part of our life. I call it my fifth child because it's always in pictures. Uh, what I'm going to do is do a few quick things on here and get it ready for the wall. Okay, let's get started. First of all, I'm going to crop this image. So I'm going to go into my Workhorse app. In this case, I'm going to use Snapseed. I love Snapseed because it has a lot of different options for me. I'm going to reset this so that we can start it from the beginning. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is go in and crop it. So I'm going to hit the crop tool and just hit the check mark to choose my crop. Now I'm going to do a few little editing things. I'm going to go back to the, to the uh, tool box here at the lower right and choose Tune Image and you change your settings or the, the options by sliding up and down with your finger. I'm going to choose some contrast, get some contrast in there, maybe not too much. Go up here to ambience and that lightens it up quite a bit. I like how it brings out the clouds. It's a little bit too warm for me so I'm going to go down to the warmth and cool it off a little bit. And we're going to leave it there. Actually, maybe not. Let's do some shadows. I'm going to open the shadows up a little bit, make the barn stick out a little bit more. All right, now I'm going to hit the check mark. And then I'm going to hit save. I'm going to save a copy so that I can always go back to my original if I want to. All right, so then I'm going to close this out. And I'm going to go into my favorite app, Glaze. And um, I'm going to re re discard and reload this so that you can see what I did. I'm going to go to the one that I just edited. And there's many different options. The thing that you have to be careful of is losing all detail. If I go to the very beginning and choose the first one, you'll see what I mean. The barn has become completely obscured. It's very abstract. The barn does not take up very much room in this image, so it's important to have a, a painting layer that does not obscure things. I love the texture though that you get in the clouds with this one. So theoretically you could use this by layering it with other apps and just choosing the sky and maybe a, a lower opacity of it, but we're not going to do that today for time's sake. I do like the sailboat series and I'm going to choose the second one because it gives me a lot of interesting paint strokes, but it also preserves the barn. I want to make sure that I'm not losing too much too many details here. All right, so I'm going to export that by hitting the export button and choosing the large size and then gallery. It'll, it'll give me a warning and I know it's going to do that and it usually works okay. And now that that's done, let's choose another thing uh, to layer with this one. All right, so one of my favorite things to do is to use one of the auto painter programs. Uh, let's just give this one a try for fun. This had, this is a one about this is Auto Painter three volume three impressionists. So let's select an image from my album, and in this case, we're going to go to the camera roll and choose the one just prior to the painting program, the one that we brought brought into glaze so that it all matches up right. You use this little paintbrush to to preserve detail. So I'm going to paint over my barn, which is maybe we'll go through here too just so we don't lose too much detail in that in that area. And then hit st uh, let's do um, let's choose this one. All right. It just starts painting and it runs it through the program here. It takes a couple seconds for it to to finish. And we're going to layer these together. So, it's okay if you don't like a portion of the image. Masking is available in most programs. Not this one. All right, so I think this is kind of cool. So I'm going to just hit save, and it's saved to my photo album. All right, so now I'm going to go up to the app that I like to blend things with, which is um, this one. I am going to go to home and uh, reset here. We're going to import the background. Go to camera roll, and I'm going to choose this one as the background. That's the one that we did in glaze. And then I'm going to choose a foreground and go to the camera roll and I'm going to choose the one that we just did in Auto Painter. 
Now they they're already snapped to fit. So let me go to see. I I just brought up the transform tool. Um, you you snap it to fit by hitting the little X key at the top upper right. It's already done it for me here, so I don't have to do it this time. Now I'm going to go to the gear icon right next door to it, on the right, and I can look. I can go all the way to the right to see the auto painter image, and all the way to the left to see the glaze image. And I can go somewhere in the middle to mix the two. There's auto painter. There's the glaze. And by blending them together, you get this unique effect that is something that you just simply don't get. Uh, using one or other one or program or the other. You can do this three, four, five, six, seven times with different apps, layering them in and using um, masking. There is masking in this program uh, to remove from different places so that it's truly hard to tell you know how the image was created. It does not look like it was just run through a simple uh, application on your phone. All right, so I'm going to save this out, go to home. Oops, excuse me, that's not, not my mask library. Export, make sure the quality is high, save the background, metadata, and then save it to my photos. And this one is ready to be printed. All right, thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.